The Pittsburgh Steelers are gearing up for something. That's for certain. You look at a Trey Edmonds release and you think nothing. Insignificant player who spent the last four years on the practice squad. Yes, brother to Terrell. I get the whole nine. I get it. Trey Edmonds is a dude who deserves his respect. The guy has grinded and grinded and grinded. He's one of the most well-respected guys in the locker room. He's a great player to have for morale. He shows you and shows everybody that hard work really does pay off. Terrell, Ter Trey Edmonds is a dude who probably shouldn't be here but is and has made the most of an NFL career. And even if that's on the practice squad, he's a guy that you look at every single season and you think, He's here to stay, most likely. So for him not to stay means the Steelers are gearing up for something significant. We're a day before training camp. We are 24 hours before the Pittsburgh Steelers report to Latrobe at St. Vincent College, and they hit the field on Wednesday. 24 hours before this happens, the team decides they are going to move on from a longtime running back fullback who probably wasn't going to make the roster, but possibly could have made the practice squad and said, hey, we need a roster spot. Why? We don't know. If I had to guess, there's two positions that come to mind. First is running back. The Steelers obviously still need a running back. They have not addressed that issue at all this offseason. And you could say whatever you want about Jalen Warren and Mateo Durant, but neither of them have shown me anything to spark any interest. I look at both of them and I think I think this. Last year, Jalen Samuels looked like a guy who was on his way out. And that's because Kalen Balaj looked like a guy who belonged. He looked like a guy who was clearly better than Jalen Samuels. This year, the guy that you have to be clearly better than is Anthony McFarland. And Anthony McFarland looks like the best of the bunch by far. That could change when pads come on. I get that. But I'm not going to put faith in undrafted rookies who have not shown anything through OTAs and minicamp. I'm just not. Running back would be my primary outlook. That would be a, the position that I look at and say the Steelers very much likely to go sign a running back. Easily. Number two, outside linebacker. The Steelers need an outside linebacker. That's not changed. That has not changed. Tuzar Skipper and Derek Tushka remain the guys for this team behind Jannard Avery, who we have yet to see put on pads yet, did not participate in minicamp or OTAs. So you look at him as just a giant question mark. And before that, you even look at him as a guy who came here from Philadelphia and at Philadelphia, he played both outside and inside linebacker. He did not play edge. He is not a true edge rusher. It's Tuzar Skipper and Derek Tushka who the Steelers are going to rely on to be the depth piece, the final depth piece. Concerning. The Steelers do not want to go back into 2021 where they were relying on guys like Taco Charlton and say what you will about Taco Charlton. He played okay, but he didn't play great. They wanted a Melvin Ingram situation. That didn't work out. They're going to want a Melvin Ingram situation once again. I think this time around they're waiting for somebody. But that being said, they've made some space. Maybe that's the direction that they go. Either way, releasing Trey Edmonds 24 hours before camp is huge news. It's nothing to be neglected. It's nothing to be overlooked. And it's really not something that you'll sit around and say, oh, Noah's blowing that up. I'm not. There's a reason the Steelers made this move 24 hours before camp. They want someone out there. We'll probably find out about that guy in the next day or two. But right now, the thought should be the Steelers are about to do something. Maybe that's something, something big. I don't know.